Now, when looking to buy a house, there are some warning signs that you can spy out for yourself before forking out for an inspection. Hamish Dodd has brought along Craig Lynn, an expert in home inspection reports with him today. Hey, nice to have you guys with you us. Your team? Well, yeah, well, I mean, it, it, this is uh, an important topic, isn't it, Craig? It <laughs> is. <laughs> well, clearly you know nothing about so it. Well, I, 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 but the funny thing is, I get asked. I don't know. I'm like, I make things pretty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's the house look? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but more, <laughs> more to the point, this is one of the single biggest investments that you're going to make in your lifetime. Uh, get it wrong. It's a costly one. So I thought we'd have a little chat to Craig today about a few things that he can, we can look for, so he can make some suggestions, and then tell us what he does. Okay, nice. so you can just sit back and relax. Let's talk Pretty to much, Craig I'm and done. <laughs> stuff. So what should we be looking for? If we're going to an open home, we're really interested in it, what should we be looking around for, for those little warning signs that there might be bigger dangers lurking beneath? There is. So there's a couple of things you can do just by yourself. You can, first one's just using your eyes. Um, look around, look on the ceilings, it's a good place to have a look um, because if there's like water stains on the ceilings you can see that there's obviously been a leak, there is a leak or there has been a leak, could have been repaired, don't know if it's been repaired well, so you just don't know. Mm -hmm. So another one is with your joinery, your windows, French joinery in a villa home, especially in the city, is expensive Yeah. to replace it. Um, if it's rotting it's going to cost you $1,500 just for the window. Okay, so how do you know though, Craig, that somebody just hasn't painted over it? Well, that's that's the part. So right. you can have a good look yourself. If it's been freshly painted, take a ballpoint pen with you. Mm. And you don't want to go stabbing holes all <laughs> through someone's house. Right. Use the use the, the push button end and just with the, like this pen here, just give it a few taps on the windowsill. Right, you can right. see there. Yeah, because see it, that's one where we've picked away the paint. It's not uncommon for people just to put a bit of bog in, paint over it, is Correct. it? Correct. Mm. If it's been repaired, it's been repaired. Right. But if it's rotting and under the paint, it's not going to stop. With a repair, they've obviously cut out the rot, put a new piece of timber in it, put some bog in there just to, to make it nice and flush and then paint it over it. So okay. give it some taps and you'll hear... A, and then you know that there's a little bit of a, a dull spot there and you, you're in for just give it a little bit of a little push and if it's nice and soft then there's something going on. Right. Because the window's $1,500 but then someone's got to take it out, then someone's got to put it back in, then someone's got to paint it, so you're looking at around three and a half grand. Which is not necessarily a bad thing but you need to factor that in if you're buying that house. You sure do. If mm. there's 10 windows, that's 30 grand. So other spots that could be a bit damp would be, I'd say, the bathroom? Yep. So what you can do is, um, is an easy test. It's all through... Um, the council do it as well. It's just the shower test. Take the shower. It's easy with the um, the hands free the the corded one. Yep. Take that off and squirt it into the corner of the shower for about ten seconds, and you'll see any water will be coming out the corner of the shower. Right, and that's a good thing to do too, because one thing that I've noticed when I've shifted house is that I always test the pressure of the shower. There's Same. nothing worse yep. than yeah. moving into a house and finding the water. So while you're doing out. that, Mike, just have a little squirt around yeah. the corners. <laughs> so when you squirt it, and then they're like, the "What are you joints. doing? It's a clean, open home." I'm just, oh, just testing, just testing the pressure. So it's all the joints and everything. Just in the corners. So that's your corner of your shower here. You want to squirt it into here and into here. Okay. So we've done all this ourselves. Then what happens if we want to go the next step and get someone like you in to do the official stuff? What do you look for? Okay, so. That's the easy stuff. Mm -hmm. What we look at is the bones. It's like a mechanic looking at the engine. You, if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't know what you're looking at. It's as plain and simple. So um, it's like Hamish said, it's a huge investment and for the cost of, of the, the inspection, what we look for and can save you money is incredible. So we go under the house, we go in the ceilings, we check inside the walls, we moisture test all around the windows, we check your cladding. We Check look it all at, out. Yeah, we look mm. right around the grounds, the drainage, the electrical, the plumbing, right through. That's okay. stuff that people just don't look at. Yeah, no, and it is. And trust me, I've known Craig for a very long time. This man <laughs> knows houses. He's built some beautiful houses um, and he knows what to look for when investing in property. So, hey. um, good work. Thanks. Yeah, well, thank My you pleasure. very much. Thank you, Hamish, for bringing Craig along. Yeah, we had all the information today. My pleasure. Very sound advice.